show you how to make a piece of music with a shape called rondo. My name is Rachel and I'm joined by three players from the Scottish Chamber Orchestra. Hi, my name's Louise and I play the timpani. My name's Sua and I play the cello. My name's Gordon and I play the violin. Rondo is a musical shape with one idea that keeps returning and other ideas placed in between. So we're going to make a quick rondo using our names. Rachel. Louise. Rachel. Sua. Rachel. Gordon. Rachel. So did you hear that my name kept returning and the other names were placed in between? That is a rondo. So now the players are going to invent a rondo using their instruments. I'm not going to be part of this one. So if we call the idea that Louise played A, that's the idea that keeps returning. And then Sue's idea we could call B, and Gordon's idea we could call C. So together we just did A, B, A, C, A. That's a rondo. Now Beethoven was a composer who used rondos in his music a lot. And at the end of his second piano concerto, he creates a rondo that is the same forwards as backwards. So for us, that would be A, B, A, C, A, B, A. Let's hear that. So when something is the same forwards as backwards, it's known as a palindrome. So our palindrome was A, B, A, C, A, B, A, which is Abba, Kaba. But you could think of words like mum, dad, and Hannah. Beethoven uses this tune for his rondo. So we're going to steal the rhythm from that tune. Can we hear the rhythm just on one note? We could split that rhythm in half. So Sewer plays the first bit, Gordon plays the second bit, and it goes backwards and forwards. Let's hear that. Sadly, Beethoven didn't write for timpani in this piece, which is really quite unusual. So Louise, could you play a pulse all the way through? Let's add that in. And we can join in if we learn the rhythm. So a good way to learn rhythms is to use some words. So I'm going to put some words to the rhythm. I'm going to say, Rondo rhythm keeps coming back. Rondo rhythm keeps you on track. Can we all say that? Rondo rhythm keeps coming back. Rondo rhythm keeps you on track. So we could join in by saying those words, or you could clap them. One clap for each syllable would be something like this. Rondo rhythm keeps coming back. Rondo rhythm. Let's add that on top of everything else. So that's our A section. That's our version of Beethoven's tune. So what we need now are two contrasting sections to fit in between. So Louise and me have made a B section, which sounds like this. And Gordon and Sewer have made a C section, which sounds like this. So now we have everything we need to make our own palindrome rondo. Okay, we've got an A section that we all did together with the rondo rhythm. Then we've got a B section, just me and Louise. Go back to the A section, everyone together. Then the C section from the strings, Gordon and Sua, and then back to the A section again, all of us together, another B section, and another A section on the end. Shall we try it?
now you know everything you need to know about rondo form, so why don't you have a go at making your own?